Eric Hammer here, registered psychotherapist. Today I'd like to talk to you about the acceptance of the different parts of our psyche. But before I begin, uh, please hit the subscribe button below so that you can get uh, frequent updates in terms of the videos and the educational material that I provide here. So going on. In terms of our, our psyche, we have these different parts of our psyche. Um, and, and this is actually talked about a lot in, in, uh, in t the internal family systems work done by uh, Richard Schwartz. And essentially what this refers to is that our psyche is made up of different parts, right? And so uh, we can think of this in terms of uh, our, our, our childhood part. We have parts that protect us sort of our defensive part, so to speak. We have also what's referred to as managers, and what managers do um, is they help, if they help again to um, protect in a very defensive way um, our more vulnerable aspects of ourself. And so what I've found when working with clients is that um, until the client really accepts some of these parts that they might not uh, necessarily like, right? So, for example, somebody might worry a lot or somebody might, a client might um, really have a lot of anger. And, and what I've really found is that when working with clients, that when clients struggle to accept these different parts of themselves, that that part tends to um, come out in other ways. So in, in more unconscious ways and that a big part of the healing process is for the client to actually accept all aspects of themselves. Not just those perceived good parts, right? And, and that the, really the key to um, being vulnerable as well with others and, and, and relating with others is to be able to sort of accept some of these, let's call them darker parts of ourselves and to be able to articulate this to somebody else in, in sort of a, a very grounded, stable way. Um, and to really first accept that within ourselves first in order to share you know, all parts of ourselves. And really, it, it really comes down to this sort of unconditional acceptance of the parts. What I've also found is that in a lot of cases, these different parts, so to speak, of, our, of ourselves, and, and perhaps these might be aspects that you know, we, don't, we don't necessarily like about ourselves, but when this has become accepted, it's almost as though they, they start to transform and um, can have a more sort of adaptable component to our lives. And what I found with clients is that those who really can't accept these different aspects of themselves tend to struggle. And these, these parts, again, they will come out in sort of unconscious ways in terms of how the client is uh, behaving. If you have any specific questions, concerns, or comments, please feel free to leave a comment below. And like I said, please subscribe uh, in order to get more of my educational material. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Take care.